so today I'm going to be doing a makeup and outfit idea video for graduation and personally I graduate in 15 days which is absolutely insane and I know a lot of y'all are about to graduate college as well or even high school and you're probably all in the same boat as me as wondering what should I wear for graduation so if you're stumped on what to wear for graduation or what to do with your makeup for graduation I hope this video helps and also if you like the video please subscribe I really 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 appreciate it and I guess that's everything let's get into the video so starting off with clean skin, I'm first priming my face using the Smashbox Primer Water just to hydrate and ensure my makeup is going to stay on all day. So for foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and this gives you a flawless coverage but it doesn't have any SPF in it so you don't have to worry about getting any of that like flashback white cast look on your face and then I'm just blending it in with my beauty blender. Next, I'm going to go in with the Coordinating CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer under my eyes just to brighten everything out and just make it look a little bit more seamless. And I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and then go in with my Beauty Blender to further blend it out. And next, I'm just setting everything in place using my NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. For contour, I'm using the Anastasia Contour Palette, and the shades I'm using are the farthest left shade, so it's like the mid-tone brown, and I'm just placing that in the shadows of my face. For blush, I'm using Becca's Flower Child, and this is just a go-to blush for me because it's so pretty for just everyday wear. And for highlight, I'm also using the Anastasia Contour Palette using the highlight shade on the far right, the sparkly one, just on the tops of my cheekbones, and that's a completed face look. So let's move on to eyes by Primer Lids with the NARS Primer um, Eyelid Primer, and it's the best one on the market. You literally can't beat it. All the eyeshadows I'm using are coming from my Lorac Pro Palette, and the first one I'm using is Light Bronze, which is a shimmery light bronze shade, and I'm just tapping that all over the lid. Now moving on to the crease, I'm just using the shade Mauve, which is a matte, like light purpley gray shade, and I'm just blending that out just so the shadows I put on top of it can blend out even more beautifully. Now to deepen up the crease, I'm using Sable from the palette, which is a matte deep brown, and I'm just blending that all throughout my crease. And now I'm just blending everything out with a clean, fluffy brush just to make sure everything is looking nice and seamless in every step of this process. Now just to deepen the look a little bit more, I'm taking the shade Garnet, which is like a cranberry shade, and just placing that in my outer corner and just blending it all together. And now I'm simply using the shade Cream, which is a matte highlight shade underneath my eyebrows. And so now we're moving on to liner, and the liner I'm using is the Liquid Liner by Kat Von D in the shade Trooper. And I'm doing a little bit of a wing, nothing too crazy because my eyes can't handle that, but just a little bit just for some fun. So after curling my lashes, I'm applying mascara, and the one I'm using is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara, or something like that. It's the one with the curved wand, and it's super cool. I've recently got it, and I've been really enjoying it for volume, so that's why I decided to use it today. So at this point, my eyes needed a little brightening, so I'm using the shade Nude from the palette, which is a sparkly champagne, and just blending that in my inner corners, and that's a completed eye look. So let's finish off the look with lips. So the lipstick I'm using is number 17 by Rimmel London from the Kate Moss Collection, and it's just a pretty pinky nude shade, and it appears as though I may have gotten a little bit on my teeth. Whoops. So moving on to gloss, I'm using one of the Urban Decay Naked Lip Glosses in the shade Naked, and that is a completed makeup look. Let's move on to my outfit ideas. So this first option is pretty classic for graduation. The dress is from Angie, the necklace is from J. Crew. the shoes are by Lucky Brand, and it's just an overall classic look. 
For option number two, it's a bit more fun and this dress is all over Pinterest. It's actually from the brand or the website called Choices or something, which is like a wholesale website. My shoes are from the brand Nine West that I got at TJ Maxx. And that is it for this look. And outfit option number three is a little different. It's actually a lacy romper, which I got from American Threads. And it's a very classic shape. It's very structured. And I think it's really pretty. The ring I decided to accessorize with is by Kendra Scott. And these are the same wedges from Lucky Brand. Alright everyone, so that's everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see a get ready with me for my actual graduation, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do that for you guys. Um, but that's everything. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my social media and I will talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.